our own relations between our two countries are probably as close, closer than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. We've got our NATO allies. You'll go on around. There are difficulties, of course. Don't let's pretend that they don't exist. Mm -hmm. People take different points of view. There wouldn't be free governments if they were. And you have to, we have to try and keep it all together. We've got this problem of the underdeveloped countries, which we really must work with. And we, I think, are ready to do our part. We've got a stronger economy at home, so we're able to give more abroad. Yeah. And then, as you said, you've got these contacts, this idea of developing movements between the countries, which will make the background. Uh, and that will help the statesmen to do what the peoples really want. And I think sometimes it's extraordinary. I think about it, and I expect you do. You and I sit in a rather lonely position sometimes and think, what is it the people want, and can we give it to them, and at the same time keep the principles we stand by? And I call it peace and justice. And those are the two words. You know, um, one Frenchman gave a definition of freedom I like. said freedom and liberty are merely the opportunity for self-discipline. Now, we know that there's certain things that great nations can do if they are organized, harnessed as one, and go ahead and do it. In the dictatorships, this is all done by the order and by the police that make the order effective. So there is a continuity of policy and a unity of effort that is quite remarkable sometimes in Western eyes. But let's remember this. Our great strength is our dedication of freedom, and if we are sufficiently dedicated, we will de discipline ourselves so we'll make the sacrifices to do the thing that needs to be done. And that is exactly what you and I, I think, are trying to teach ourselves, our friends, our own peoples, and we're hopefully Mr. Crook.